Hey, my name's Clark, or Flus13, and I'm here with my friend. Hello, I'm Nick, or Parzival68. And this week we're going to be starting our new weekly video on our channel, where we discuss what we think uh, is interesting that has happened in the past week, ranging from movies, video games, or to YouTube and Twitch. So we're just talking about whatever we want uh, that we think is cool. And so the next topic is about everyone's favorite streamer, The Doc, and how uh, he disappeared, what is it, like a month ago now? Has it been? I think it's been a it's month. Been, it's been a month. long it's been fucking a while. time. It's been enough to where I'm like scratching my head like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, like, and, 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 and so he released like a Twitter video, I think two days ago, that yeah. said nothing. It was just him, it was just Doc being Doc. Absolutely. <laughs> it was just Doc being Doc <laughs> and uh, just standing in an alleyway. Uh, that didn't tell us anything. He interviewed with a couple of big news sources yeah. and he, and basically no news came from that. And, uh, I think we should, the like, only news I think I heard was that, and I think it was odd, like, obviously everyone's heard rumors about, you know, the doc, but, yeah. uh, the, what was a statement confirming our rumors is that he's, his team is thinking about taking legal action against Twitch. So that yeah. kind of tells us that they still have no idea what the hell is going on, but you know. Yeah, and and I don't believe for a second that Doc said like he he said multiple times now, publicly that he's not sure why he was banned. But I have a feeling yeah, that he has he has exactly. I yeah. The right I, idea. If you want to hear my theory, this is my theory. I think there's another streaming service that's going to come out eventually that we're going to see, and uh, and he kind of was trying to do a deal and stuff twitch found out and they banned him and i think the why the there's no talk and it's all hush hush is i think dr disrespects like yo i signed the dotted line uh you guys are gonna have to pay me my money you know and twitch doesn't want to so i think i think there's some sort of there's it has to obviously do with like legal something that's why we're not hearing anything from anybody yeah i i, I kind of have to agree with you on like on that theory I think that it, he was probably just like looking around. Also, I really like the theory of Twitch trying to find a scapegoat because they were in a lot of uh, yeah. they were in a lot of heat uh, because they were doing. It was in the it was in the whole Black Lives Matter movement, uh, yep. like the the peak of that. And Twitch, it was it came out that, like Twitch was like treating their workers wrong, and there was like trying to like it was... weird stuff going on. And Twitch needed to find a scapegoat in banning Doctor Disrespect and basically just bringing the media to that instead of what was going yep. on inside of twitch that makes sense to me I, it makes sense but to me too who knows we, we i don't know like, we may never know it may it may come I, out that we may he, never know i swear to god i swear to god if we never find out about what happened I'm yeah gonna, i i don't know I, I swear to finish off this topic i i think it's he said Doc said it's possible that he may end up coming out with his own streaming service. And if that happens, that could be oh, huge. That could be huge. I think there needs to be some sort of competition. I mean, no one's going to go to Facebook gaming. That's awful. <laughs> and Mixer's Mixer, dead. Mixer's <laughs> dead. And I was, we were talking about this before we filmed. Phil Spencer literally came out with an interview like a day ago. And he's like, I have zero regrets about shutting down Mixer. So there's like nothing yeah. mixer's gone it's gone yeah it, it is basically back. only twitch right now and that was, that was the argument for for mixer before everyone was like hey mixer <laughs> Mi mixer is a great thing to have uh just it because it's competition but now now it's gone and it's because gone. It, because it wasn't a very good competition uh yeah. but like if doc comes out with one like I he hey. it would probably hire the best of the I, best to run the company. Guess what? I bet I, I bet he gets a, a member on his team already on that streaming service, and it, and it starts with Ninja. You know what I mean? I I think Ninja would go there. I really do. I don't. Yeah, because Ninja still hasn't signed the dotted line for YouTube, even though he's nope. been there a little bit. I think he's just playing the waters. I that's what I think too. I I, I, I think he's kind of just yeah. like all over the place, seeing who who's gonna bite, give him that money, even though he just made thirty million, like yep. nothing got and, all that money and it's either doc goes goes makes makes his own streaming service or he goes to youtube because he yep. we we know he won't go to facebook <laughs> no, no don't go to facebook he, he, he's no he doc is not the guy to go to facebook <laughs> yeah facebook no just to add on to 2020 you know what a year right guys uh <laughs> uh 
Twitter has been hacked multiple times in the past few days. All top accounts, like, you know, Joe Biden got hacked, like, a couple yeah. Twitch streamers, like, really, like, people. Elon you know, Musk. Around. Yeah, it was, it was Elon like Musk, all, all the biggest yeah, people. All the biggest people uh, had a Bitcoin act, uh, hack that earned uh, or over what well, we think it, over a hundred thousand dollars yeah i think it was over a hundred thousand dollars and it was it was like some crappy it like yeah. like you would think because no no kids own bitcoin and no. so you know it's adults that literally fell for this like crappy spam yep. like ha uh like hack twitter the, post even the layout the layout was so sketch yeah you know it what would, i mean it looks sketchy it, if you don't right. know the the scam was is they basically took all the top accounts and they posted the same thing on each of those accounts and said if you send us a thousand bitcoin we'll double it and send it back to you yep like who, bitcoin who, untraceable who money you you think the geniuses <laughs> you, you think oh, the geniuses man. who who start bragging about like owning bitcoin will be smart yep. enough to realize like Maybe Joe dollars. Biden isn't going to send me 2,000 Bitcoin back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden is all over the Bitcoin currency. Yeah. yeah. He, he's yeah. all over it, guys. Innovation. Yeah, jo jo <laughs> Joe Biden's going to send you that Bitcoin back. But yeah, he is. That just seems, that just seems uh, uh, very, very stupid unlikely. to me. Yeah, and, it, it, is, it is very stupid. And, and, like, <laughs> and then more, and then Twitter got hacked again, I think, like, two mm -hmm. days after that Bitcoin yep. spam thing happened. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a hack. Like still, and trying to earn money. It, it, it highlights how weak Twitter is for being yeah. hacked. Like it just. They need to. They yeah. need to get on their shit. And, and I really think. I, that. And you no, know, it was weird. The one that happened a few days ago, the after the 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 whole Bitcoin thing was actually like across multiple websites. Discord went down at the same time. Yeah, I think also. Oh no, that was different. Yeah, it, I, it, it was a bunch yeah. of websites. It was really weird. I don't know, man. Maybe Lizard know. Squad's back at it. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I remember I Lizard Squad. I remember. <laughs> dude, I remember. I was I was in the mountains and I just got my fir I got the Xbox One for the first time, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to play my Xbox One. It was on Christmas, and yep. And I could not play my new Xbox One because Lizard I Squad remember. had hacked Squad it, and I was pissed. Xbox. I remember that day, dude. <laughs> We were trying to be in a party and we couldn't even talk. God, it was awful. Yeah, that was bad. Another story is that uh, Netflix has just announced that they they're coming out with their highest budget movie to date, and it's directed mm -hmm. by the Russo brothers, aka the guys who basically created the Marvel universe to a degree. Hell yeah, baby! They did Winter Soldier and uh, plenty of other stuff. Oh yeah. And the movie is starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. And they're supposed to, and it's based off of a book apparently, but I don't, I don't know the yeah. book. And it's supposed to be like a thing where Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans are are rival spies. And this sounds like my type of movie. Like I, I love it. I, and I know Clark, you're a Ryan Gosling guy. I know you are. You're even a Chris Evans guy. Ah, uh, no, I, I don't know about Chris Evans, but Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Gosling. I'm a I like Chris that. Evans guy. I, I, lo I like Chris Evans, but I. I am very excited about it. I'm honestly, I'll follow anything the Rupert brothers do. They have great storytelling, great writing. Um, I'll, yeah. uh, I'm excited about it. I mean, and well, and I think they said that basically they're trying to create a universe out of this. And and as we know, Russo brothers can create a universe. They know how to. Universe. They know how to oh, take yeah. a one movie and extend it across multiple. And and, and, and they know how yeah. to take the movie, make it a good movie in itself, but then build upon it and make more. And so yep. you you know this could be. A really big oh, deal monumental hey I would... and, and i saw i saw some twitter like just a random a random twitter uh post and was just saying like they're basically creating like ryan gosling into the american james bond and i'm completely they, down with that <laughs> i i'm i want I, I i like spy movies you know casino royale loved that movie um, yeah. um uh, james bond is just fantastic i i love it but I, I look, let's get a new one. You know, the Kingsman when they came out, I loved, I loved Kingsman. Yeah. Great, great and, movie. And I like the idea of two huge, like monumental, uh, 
like actors just going at it like they're they're the yep. rivals and they're just trying to outdo each other the rival yeah. spy idea in itself uh -huh. is like is a very cool idea that like hasn't been done very much but everyone knows about it it's like yep. you try to outdo the other spy and it keeps going and going and it's just like it probably build up very well in a movie i like it because ryan gosling and chris evans both have the potential of acting very seriously and it be taken yeah. seriously yeah. you know what i mean so and, but here's the thing ryan gosling has one of the best dry humor you know acting style i, yeah. I love his I, dry humor it's great like when i think of ryan gosling as a spy i completely imagine the blade runner 2049 movie oh yeah like, oh, like yeah. He, he, he like it'll probably be very close to that and i like that hey who knows it might be in that like that cyberpunk you know like time you don't know where it's it, gonna if be, it is you know? that would be awesome that would be awesome i would love to see that that would be amazing but yeah i'm very yeah. excited about it you guys should you know keep I'm this and uh that. take a note about it and yeah look we'll, at, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait it. to we'll wait for that release for sure oh yeah and the next topic we have for today is uh Assassin's Creed valhalla will have virtually no side quests and that was said by uh the, the narrative director uh darby mcdevitt hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but uh yeah uh, so that's kind of interesting that we're gonna have zero side quests. Uh, zero side quests in, like, and you know, in like, Assassin's Creed has fully moved to basically oh, RPGs yeah. now. RPG. It's an RPG. And how could an RPG possibly have no side and quests? And I, I don't know if you, you didn't play Odyssey, correct? I don't think. No, you did. no, I didn't. I didn't play. Uh, I, I play. I've Assassin's Creed is my favorite series of games ever. I love them, uh, but Odyssey and Origins, the amount of side quests you could do is absolutely disgusting it's you could it's like an entirely different game like you could spend hours upon hours on side quests so it's i don't know how they're i don't know how they're going to do it i don't know how they're going to integrate these missions and stuff and to so, do maybe i don't know and so is it just gonna like is that is that work that they're taking away from the side quest is that extending the main yeah. storyline like yeah. for a very long time like is the main story gonna be oh yeah like like <laughs> Like, is it, it going to take forever to beat? Or something? <laughs> I don't know. But here's the thing: there might be there might be still so much to do. It's just they've shown gameplay, but we don't. I don't know. We're just going to have to get the hands on the game just it's to see. You know what I mean? Definitely interesting to hear that there will be no side quests for sure. Yeah, it's definitely something you should take note of. I I don't I, know. I don't I don't know how that's going to affect the game and and how it will flow. Like we 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 won't know until more uh, info comes out on that. Yep, but we'll keep you guys updated on that. Yeah, for sure. And to end this video, we're going to end on a very happy note. Uh, God, I if you love Henry Cavill as much as me, you're, you'll love this. But Henry, Henry Cavill, Cavill, a.k.a. Superman. Superman. And, Superman. and I don't know. Yeah. He was... What, what he was, was in, he uh, oh, he was in Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, where he was, where he was beating the crap was out of Tom Cruise. You know, he did that like, little arm, <laughs> arm move thing that everyone likes so yeah, much. Every, everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was super cool. But no one knows. He's like, what is he doing? Anyway, but he released a video on his Instagram. I don't know if he did it on his Twitter, but that's where I saw it, Instagram. But he released an entire video of him building his own PC, which is absolutely heartwarming. I It made me so happy. <laughs> it, 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 it's so really cool. funny. It's really funny and because yeah. it's sort of like offsetting to see some guy Especially a very popular person. Yeah, any that's, jacked. That's actually <laughs> absolutely jacked building a PC. Yeah. He's just like, it's just like, and he's really the the, the contrast. The contrast yeah. between between it's, his his <laughs> arms and the PC that's probably yeah. smaller than his he, arms he, is pretty oh, ridiculous. Oh yeah, he, he crushed the yeah. It was just <laughs> it was just kind of funny, but it was just awesome to just see him because I know I. I really I follow Henry Cavill a lot because he's in The Witcher. He's uh, he plays uh, Geralt of Rivia. Mm -hmm. Love love that show. Love those games. But uh, he know he plays video games constantly. You know what I mean? Like actually before he missed his casting call for uh, Geralt of Rivia because he was playing WoW on his PC. Like really? This is the type of guy. yeah yeah. He said that in an <laughs> interview. This is the type of guy. So I really like him. He's awesome. He's a gift to humanity in my opinion. But. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty cool to see that happen. Cool story. Cool story, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys are checking us out on uh, over at Twitch. I'm uh, Parsable68. And I'm uh, Plus. I'm, I'm Plus13. Well, we, yep. stream, we stream basically all week, all the time, mm -hmm. except for the all weekends, the maybe. Still. And uh, we'll have videos on this YouTube channel releasing Friday. So make sure you check that out. Mondays and Fridays are our upload days. So make and sure you guys maybe, are... maybe a few uploads in between. We don't know. In between, we don't know yet. We'll we'll get it down. We'll get down like that kind of stuff. But Monday yep. and Friday, 
make sure you guys are looking out for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I had fun doing yeah, thanks this. Thanks for man. watching. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I look forward to uh, doing some more. Yep. All right. See you guys. See ya.